Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Spec and Motto. This is going to be part two of our uh, little vlog series that we just got started here. So, if y'all liked part one, and y'all ready for part two, and you made it this far, heck yeah, more power to ya. Enjoy, guys. Alright guys, so I'm back at the house, and obviously I have my speakers out now. If you guys haven't seen them yet, it's these uh, Boss audio systems i think it's called phantom series i've had these on my first car about four years ago before i got rid of it and i have i've just had it sitting around in the box ever since because i figured i'd put it put them in another car one day and this car is going to be the car that's going to get them so Pretty much I'm going to show you guys real quick what I'm going to plan on doing with these uh, harnesses I got from the junkyard. So obviously these female connectors you see I'm going to have to uh, find ways to connect them to this on here and then like on this one. How these already have some wires and stuff. I'm going to have to trim these up a little bit and stuff because obviously these are in another car so that's why you still see this like connector and stuff here. I'm going to have to uh, trim these down a little bit and figure a way to uh, get these wires into these so I can power these speakers. Same story with this. Uh, so we're going to start with the rear speakers. I'm going to try to uh, get our uh, wiring and all that connected. Try to make a little bit of a connection here. We got some... Uh, electrical tape and everything we need so all I gotta do real quick is hook up the uh, positive and negative terminals to where they need to go and tape off the rest with electrical tape so let's go ahead and get started on that alrighty guys so unfortunately my camera died so I couldn't film certain parts from the last uh, video clip to now so basically, I'm just going to give you a bit of a rundown of what we've been doing. So, we have these speakers, obviously. And as you can see, I've already start, started to work. We're starting off with the back speakers because they're easier. And obviously, we have a bit of a size difference between OEM and aftermarket. So, uh, of course, I'm doing some modifications. Not like nothing like drilling holes or anything, obviously. I'll show you guys what I've got so far. It actually looks pretty damn decent for just kind of rigging it in there. So here's what's in there right now. We haven't touched this side yet. So I mean, it looks kind of cool. You walk up and you see a skull there. It's, I like that. And yes, uh, we already did a few things without you like I said a second ago that includes the uh, soldering and attaching of the female connectors and the wires for the speaker let me get you guys focused so see you guys got we got the female connectors they're soldered and taped for safety purposes then we have our wires that run to the speaker so that's how we got them working I did test it out a minute ago. I can't use, I can't play music and record at the same time unless I get my other camera out from some, well, God knows where and charge it up. But this one's already plugged in. It's sitting in the hole there. And I have verified it works, including the uh, LED glowing eyes. They're just harder to see in the daytime because you can't really see them in the day. But, uh, the speaker, it actually works. It, it sounds fantastic. Just the one speaker alone I hear is significant improvement. So we're going to get ready to put the other speaker in. We're going to have it in a similar fashion so it looks more organized. So like has the speaker slanted like this and it's facing like that. We're going to do it the same way except it's going to be slanted like this. So that will be a really cool touch. So let's go ahead and get started with that.
Alrighty guys, so removing the door panel on these Civics are actually very, very, very simple. It literally has two screws and clips. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Alright, so we'll be over here. We're going to be taking this door panel off. So we're going to start by taking this window control off. So we're going to need our flat head. And we're going to start prying some of this out. There we go. A little bit of elbow grease and some love. We got it off just like that. Heaven forbid I damage something. It's okay. If it works, it's all that matters. Just going to take out this uh, window control. If I can find my way around this cluster of uh, wires. Okay, just like that, you get it out. So there's that. Now we take our flat head again. There's going to be a little square inside this door handle here. So you're going to want to go in like this. Sorry if my big head's in the way. Ah, excuse me. Bam. Covers out. That's when we go in. Our handy dandy screwdriver. Just unloosen it. Unloosen it. I meant to say loosen it. Unloosening it with the tightening head. Jesus Christ. Sorry guys, it's really hot today. Normally here in Ohio, during the fall time, it's like in the 30s and 40s. It's literally 80 degrees today. I don't understand why, but it's whatever. Alright, so now one screw's out. We've got one more screw right here in this little corner. I don't know if you guys can see it. So we'll just take that. Slide it out. Slowly but surely. Come on. There we go. Popped out of its little screw hole for a second. Bam. Screw is out. Alright, at this point we can start popping it out of the tab, so let's, let's kind of find a corner. Find like a bit of a weak point. It's very obvious that this door panel has never been removed in its life. cheat a little bit. <laughs> okay guys, after a few minutes of assessing this, I have found out that inside here there's a little plastic tab. You guys can see that there. I gotta pop it out. And it's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass to do it. So I'm gonna put you guys back over on the tripod while I get it. But I'm glad I found this out before I destroyed my door panel. This is like the first time I fully removed a door panel on my vehicle, so. <laughs> let's get let's try to go ahead and get this off real quick.
right guys so we don't really need to completely unhook everything and stuff in my opinion I think it's just unnecessary and a waste of time so I don't think it's gonna hurt anything as long as you just gently set it down off to the side right there so we can just pick it right back up throw it on hook everything up and we're good to go because all we need to access is this right here and obviously the door panel is not in the way so we can go ahead and proceed with our screwdriver take our screw out go ahead and pop this speaker out so when you go to remove it you have to like kind of push it a little bit because there's a adhesive behind it that <coughs> makes it stick just like that and then don't just yank it out because when, when you get it to here you lift up then pull out and then there's your removal of your speaker and all you gotta do is push these two little tabs here pull out the speaker and then plug in the new one so that's why we that's why we decided to solder these little uh, female connectors from the junkyard speakers onto the new speaker wires so instead of having to butcher these wires up and make it into a giant disaster we can just hook those female connectors up to that solder them and you know put some electrical tape over it for safety bring them out here plug it into the original plug slap them in and they're done okay so unfortunately for anybody who is curious uh, the speaker covers are attached to the actual door panel so no these are not removable so unfortunately I have to go the route of taking this, you know, this nice looking cover off and taking the skull piece off and we're going to stick it in behind the door panel like this it will still light up behind the uh, speaker cover so these little LED lights will still light up to the music the only difference is there's not going to be a skull on there and it's going to be behind a door panel but it's still visible you can still hear it and that's the good news so you pretty much just got to pop these off this is two-handed don't want to destroy anything so after this clip you guys are going to see the time lapse of me putting the other speakers in Alright guys, that's going to conclude today's video. We got all the speakers in successfully. A few minor run-ins on the way, but no big deal. We took care of that in like five seconds. So, uh, as you can see, OEM speakers are in there. New speakers are in here. Success, everything works. I really wish I could show you guys on here, but I don't want to have any copyright strikes on my channel. I will post videos on my Instagram and Facebook page though so if you guys are curious to see how what it's kind of like. 
just go ahead and stop on my Facebook page, my Instagram page, and I'll have videos of it on there. But alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, share the video with your friends and family that are in the little project videos like this, DIY, whatever you want to call it. Hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the bell icon guys. Every subscription, every like, that tells YouTube that people are like, liking my videos and liking my channel. So uh, just keep it up guys, I mean I, I really appreciate each and every one of you. Stay safe out there, see y'all next time.